Mr. Feenstra. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you to each one of your witnesses uh, for coming and your testimony. You know, TANF gives states the flexibility to determine how they will help struggling Americans to get back on their feet. The flex flexibility is a powerful tool that TANF has, allowing programs to be catered to the unique challenges of each state. In Iowa, TANF funds are used for family investment programs to, to provide direct assistance to families. But it also has a program called Promise Jobs that helps them find a job and so they no longer need to be on assistance, so they, they have a purpose. I have three great stories. A 29-year-old father who got a commercial driver's license now is a trucker that got off TANF. A 25-year-old single mo mother who supports her, her children now does not have to be on TANF. And finally, a 33-year-old mother who had a criminal record but was connected through Promise Jobs and found now a great paying career to support her two children. Mr. Underhill, you have an amazing story, just like the three stories I've noted. And I'm very proud of what you've done to turn around your life and, 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 and have a purpose with this position you have. Just like Iowa Promise Jobs program, Missouri has Skills, Skills Up program, which is awesome. And a lot of these programs, just like you're in, uh, have a component called peer mentors so that they can share a common experience and trust while you're working through the real difficult challenges. Can you share, you're now a peer uh, support specialist, thank you for doing that. Can you talk a little bit about that and why it's so important that we need peer specialists in these positions? You need somebody sometimes just to talk to, somebody that is relatable somebody that's been through what you've been through. You, it, it's hard to open up and talk to people that you don't relate with. Um, and having that, that support system just increases your chances, honestly. And with the education, like the uh, Excel centers that are in Missouri, I don't know if any other states have them, but To, to be able to go back to school as an adult and get your high school diploma and it not cost you anything and have the assistance there to, to get you back in the worst workforce, educate you, Why could we not support that more than we are? Absolutely, I, I, I thank you for that. You know, like you said, you know, peer mentors, if, if we can, work alongside somebody and make sure they're successful. Uh, you know, that's what this is all about. We want them to be off TANF and, and, and to have great careers and be successful and have a purpose in life. So I found it interesting. You said that uh, you found skills up on Facebook and that scared me a little bit like, okay, why aren't we pushing this out a little more? Can you explain that just a little bit? Uh, you know, what should we do to promote uh, these different programs like Iowa has, uh, Promise Jobs, you have skills up, skills up. I mean, to me, this is the difference maker. Absolutely. I, I think marketing and, and getting this out there is, I don't know why we're not doing more. Yep. We should be doing everything we can. Yep. There's a lot of people that have no idea the opportunities that are out there. Exactly right. Oh, thank you. Uh, Mr. Adelson, you, you pointed out in your testimony that $31 billion of TANF funds uh, that went out in 2022, only $2.5 billion went to jobs training and education, such as Promise Jobs and Skills Up. C can we talk about this? Should we expand these dollars? Uh, how, how do we make it uh, more important that we try to figure out jobs and opportunities instead of everyone just staying on TANF? Great question. Um, unfortunately, if you build it, they will come. Doesn't work here. You, you have to go find those people. We have the money. The, this program has the money. We're looking at these unobligated balances. You talk about promoting those great programs you have in Iowa that are working well. We need to get people that are coming in the door for every welfare program, food stamps, yep. Medicaid. Those, those programs have grown by tens of millions since TANF was instituted, and the objective is to reduce government dependency, not just TANF dependency. Yes. And so that's the place we need to capture those folks, bring them in, and get them in these, in, in these good programs. You nailed it, absolutely. We want to get them off subsidies. We want them to have great jobs, and we can do that, but we got to find them and make sure that the programs work for them. 
But to me, it's a state's job and whatever we can do. Thank you for your, your testimonies, and I yield back. Mr. Gar